Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Minds by Sai Babu Sankara. Friends, we have been discussing in the classes regarding the human rights. All of you know that human rights are the rights conferred upon every citizen by means of the so-called fundamental rights of the Constitution of India as well as the rights which are accrued through the international covenants like Universal Declaration of Human Rights international covenant on civil and political rights or international covenant on the social economic and cultural rights and 1990 1966 and things like that so in that please remember right to privacy is a human right right to privacy is a fundamental right as per article 21 of the constitution of india so you should not be subjected to uh, incidents which outrage your privacy but same thing happened no doubt already you know article 19 clause 2 has a, a reasonable restrictions test of reasonability all these things you know very well better than me because you might have studied the constitution but one such incident which deprived the privacy particular the woman happened in kerala state particularly in the college called as marthom college of kerala you all know that on 17 7 2022 the neat examinations were conducted all over the country during the neat examinations normally it is the duty of the uh, the invigilators or the persons who conduct the test uh, to check and to check the students physically or with the metallic uh, um, uh, these things and uh, then only allow them to write the examination but as far as the girl students or women students are concerned so a bad incident took place which is against to the right of privacy what happened is normally the the girls they will wear bra that bra may some of the bras might have the metal hooks so when they beeped what these people done is no doubt they are also women but they asked these uh, girls uh, to remove the bras and keep them in the dryer and then go on right for the examination so it is definitely an outraging of modesty of course since other woman is also other gender is also woman you can't invoke the so called provisions of section 354 but definitely it is outraging of modesty why woman should use the bra you know so the people were perplexed they have to write the examination that is the important part for them they cannot raise allegations and they cannot fight with the staff on duty so wearing a gloomy look or keeping the tears in their ears shedding tears they went to the hall of course somehow they have continued the writing the neat examination and after return some of the students found all these bras and dryers dumped in a dry dumped in a tray or some i guess dumped in the trays and how can they pick out their bras it's very difficult even we feel difficulty whenever we are conducting the internal examinations normally we ask the boys or we ask the students to keep all their cell phones actually in front of the table on which i sit in front of my table so at the time of after completing the examination the students will come and uh, try to search their mobile phones and they got uh, some people get confused because all of them look alike because all of them were in uh, silent or that is uh, a mode uh, cut power of mode it's difficult so normally as it been since it is a number very less number 60 or 70 they will be able to identify and even i will caution them are baba take your phone only not others but here the bras how can they identify but still some people some girls picked up the bras they went to the nearby room which is a rink a ricket or a very a very small room where uh, six to seven girls at one time they have to change the dress and at the examination hall they have to cover their breast portion with their uh, so called uh, hairs and they have to write the examination so it is nothing but outraging the modesty of the girls right yesterday it has come in the press that uh, the management or the uh, management of the so called college they stated that uh, conducting the examination is their part but uh, 
the testing, frisking or allowing the students, it is the duty of the agency. And they said no such incident has come to their notice. But anyway, it has become a sensational issue. Even the Women's Commission has taken cognizance. Then they have uh, actually constituted a body and that body clearly stated that there was violation or there was a, a violation of the human rights or uh, outraging the modest women also have taken place. Therefore, five women employees, two of the college and three of the outsourcing agency, they were arrested yesterday. So this is a classic incident of violation of the human rights. So friends, the I think uh, one by two or uh, I think two by three students who are uh, studying the human rights at this particular point of time. Please note this case, study this case as a classic example and write notes and uh, you can mention it in your examinations also. Thank you very much.